Purists would say it's not a sport, but rather a show. Some sort of meeting between Zinedine Zidane and Jackie Chan. But earlier this year, a martial arts school in the suburbs of Beijing opened a new class in Kung Fu football. I've always played football and recently I've started to practice Kung Fu. Now the two sports are associated. Kung Fu is a national treasure in China, but football is not really our strong point. Thirty young people like Xu regularly train for the new sport. They are the first generation of a discipline dreamt up two years ago by entrepreneur and football fanatic Kong De Bao. The standard of football in China is really low. When we watch it, we worry. I wondered how to find a way to remedy this situation, so I created Kung Fu football. I'm committed to it, body and soul. Kong thinks he has found the solution to his country's weakness in football. The Olympic powerhouse has only qualified once for the Sports World Cup, back in 2002. He believes training in martial arts will increase the level of agility and speed of players needed to make it to the top. It has moves that professional football players cannot do. We add more moves that are exciting to watch, which suggests that it is also more difficult. Kung Fu football is still in its infancy, but other martial arts schools are adding the game to their curriculum. The question is whether this hybrid sport will be the secret weapon needed to help China regularly qualify for the World Cup.